everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing a DIY makeover of my daughter's bedroom. And the best part about this one is that I did it for under $100. You didn't hear that wrong. I literally only spent $100. Talk about balling on a budget. So get ready to join me on an adventure while I transform my four-year-old's small room into a fun place for her to hang out and play. Oh, and did I mention, I did this one pretty much all by myself too, cause my husband's still gone. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is see what we're working with. This is the before. If you're familiar with my channel, you're probably just surprised to see Callie's stuff in this room. Both my daughters have shared a room for almost two years because they wanted to. We have a five bedroom house, but they chose to stay in the same room when we moved in. The other room became a playroom and housed all of their stuff. It was a mess. It worked out well for a while, but Cadence is nine now and she's definitely ready to have her own space. And really I think Callie is too. So we moved Callie downstairs to the old guest room since she wanted to be closer to our room and Cadence loved the idea of having basically the entire upstairs to herself. Lucky kid, right? I'm starting off in the closet. So we have two white dressers in our house. There's a tall one and a short one. Since this room is kind of small, I wanted to utilize the space to the best of my ability, so I took the doors off the closet and put the tall dresser inside of it. It gives the closet kind of like a built-in feel without actually having to spend the money to have it be built-in. This was super easy to move the shelves and stuff around, and now there is so much more space for storage. If you're new here, my name's Keely. I'm 29, my middle name really is Rainbow. Thanks, Dad. I love Chick-fil-A, buying home decor I don't really need, and nights when I don't have to set an alarm the next morning. I've got two kids, and I've always wanted to be a Pinterest mom, but it turns out I'm more of an Amazon Prime type of mom. I make YouTube videos about motherhood, DIYs, home decor, and what it's like to be me, a full-time working mom of two with a husband who's hardly ever here because he works out of state. I have two daughters who are four and nine, my husband who puts up with me being a hot mess, and a full-time job as a restaurant manager for a corporate restaurant chain. I work a lot, I'm busy all the time, but I'm just like you. So if you're not subscribed, hopefully you will. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram for more behind the scenes of my life, and anyway, let's get to know each other. First question, what is your most used emoji? Comment it down below. If you know me, you know I have an unhealthy obsession with holidays. I love Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, literally any holiday. I live for the holidays, y'all. And if you've never seen my house at Christmas, that's a reason to stick around and subscribe, to be honest, because it's a lot. So because of this, my children have an intense collection of holiday clothing. And what you're seeing here isn't even all of it. There are literally two totes in the garage stored full of holiday stuff. Like I said, I do the most. So I decided to use this like under the bed storage container to put some other holiday stuff in. And this one came from Dollar General for only $5. You know, I used to hate Dollar General, but it's growing on me.
When I was a kid, my mom was always moving the house around, redoing rooms, moving furniture, making things look brand new. I think that must be where I get this from. People literally ask me all the time why I tackle all these projects myself and away from my husband, and I don't honestly know. I just love doing it. There's no project too big. And even if I don't know what I'm doing, I have faith that I could probably figure it out. And you know what? I know you can too. So don't be afraid to start a project that you've been waiting on. There's a lot of trial and error in this kind of stuff, y'all. Moving things around, redoing rooms. I try to always show y'all the real side of it. Here you can see me moving furniture around a few times, trying different things out. It's all a part of the process. Don't get me wrong, I love a really good put together DIY video, but it's also good to see that even people who put their lives on the internet sometimes have to do it a few times to get it right. There is not a project, makeover, or DIY I do that I don't stop halfway through and change my mind about something. Okay, so I've been rearranging stuff in here for a while and I'm really struggling with like where to put everything because it's such a small room. So I want to make sure that everything has ample space to be organized and I'm not just like shoving it in places. So I'm pretty good with how the closet turned out. And then we also have a ton of these cube organizers. So I'm going to put this one here, I think, to four uh, books and toys and then Callie's kitchen here. Then I'm going to do something on the wall up here. I don't know what yet, but I also put, let me show you guys. The other one, instead of putting it here, I moved it and turned it on its side and put it over here um, at the very end of the bed. It kind of matches. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this headboard, so I don't know if we'll keep that. So like her shoes are in there and then all of her clothes are in here. I'm gonna put this mirror somewhere on the wall. I don't know, maybe over here. Uh, but that's like a little area for her to get dressed in and hopefully that will be good. I don't know. There is something about books being organized by color that really makes me feel like I have my life together. I know it'll probably stay like this for, you know, maybe three and a half minutes, but isn't it so aesthetically pleasing? Like I said, I have Pinterest mom dreams. looking for links make sure you check down below I will try to link everything that you see a few fun shout outs though Callie's bedding is from Betty's and it's the coolest it makes it so easy to make a bed every day because it literally zips up how fun the majority of the furniture and stuff was from other rooms in the house though I'll also be redoing Cadence's room soon so she will be getting some new stuff and then the room that used to be the playroom is now the guest room so I was able to reuse a lot of that stuff for Callie's room which is what made it possible to do this whole makeover on such an extreme budget you can do the same thing though shop your house first before you start buying stuff you never know what you might find and if you're anything like me there's probably stuff you have that you forgot you even owned because that kind of stuff happens to me So there's this like really awkward little corner over here and Callie's room really needed something so I thought that one of those hanging tents would be perfect. I had one of these as a kid above my bed, I mean what 90s girl didn't, but I thought she would really love one too. I thought it'd be like a fun little tent to play in or read books in and so far it's a hit. 
I think this one was under 20 bucks too, which is pretty cool. Just make sure you use some really strong mollies to screw it in so that it doesn't get ripped down. We all know how similar small children are to small dinosaurs. So the good Lord made my second child an early riser. You know that scene from Frozen where Anna is like, the sky's awake, so I'm awake. Yeah, that's my kid. So I had to get some blackout curtains for her room. At this point, I was intrigued by trying to spend as little money as possible on this makeover. So I got these curtains from Amazon from the warehouse side for less than 20 bucks. If you're not familiar with that, it's basically like shopping returned items and getting them for super inexpensive. It's great. So under each product, they'll be like buy new or used for however much money. That's where you find that kind of stuff. You can also just go to the Amazon warehouse section of the Amazon app and look through their stuff, but it's pretty cool. I totally recommend doing that if you can, because for the most part, it is all, it literally is all just like brand new. Next up, I wanted to do some wall decor. And look, it's my mom. My mom visited during this project and it was so fun. We had a really great time and it was so good to have her here because it's been forever since we've seen her. She stayed for two weeks and it was great. It was nice to have her helping with decorating too because four-year-olds aren't very good at telling you if your pictures are crooked or not. So it was very great to have her around. I put up a couple um, pictures that we had. I did buy one thing from Hobby Lobby, the little painting of the girl with the flowers in her hair, but that was on clearance at Hobby Lobby for like three bucks. Gotta love, gotta love Hobby Lobby. I really love it. And then I put up the little wire hanger for her art and stuff, which she loves doing art, so I thought that was perfect. So here's a little surprise. Every toy that Callie owns is in this room. Well, at the time of filming it was, of course. Right now it's probably strewn about all over the house. Anyway, I got rid of a lot of their stuff when I cleared out the playroom. I decided to narrow it down to a few categories of toys instead of it just being kind of a free-for-all. For example, Callie has kitchen toys that go along with her play kitchen, baby dolls and accessories, and then like some small figurines like Peppa Pigs and stuff like that. But that's literally it. And it's been great because there's so much less stuff to clean up and she's actually been playing with her toys way more. If you're new here and not subscribed, I wanna give you a little sneak peek into the next few videos, so maybe you will join the fun and subscribe. After this video, I have some organizing content going up. I love reorganizing spaces and making them more functional. We actually don't have a ton of space in our house for storage, so it's fun to see how I can best use it. 
Let me know what part of your house needs the most organization. Seriously, tell me down below and maybe that's what I'll organize first. I'll also have a day in the life of a working mom summer edition going up to share what our days look like during the summer because they're definitely different. And then hopefully soon I'll also have that kitchen makeover happening. I cannot wait for that. So many projects and fun things that I don't know where to start. Not to mention I work full time. So finding time is always fun. You can also find lots of fun content on Instagram and TikTok. Callie's room is looking like now. I think it's definitely cuter, way more functional, and way less messy. I really like how it came together, and it's definitely doable and relatable too, I think. Let me know. What do you think of how it turned out? It's definitely got a Callie vibe to it, so I'm really happy with it. guys so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you'll come back again soon to see more i love you guys and if no one's told you today you're doing a great job so i'll talk to you soon and make sure to say hi down below bye